Hi guys, Steph here. Now, some of you would have watched the video and would have seen that um, a little while ago I showed you how to dismantle a Lamy All Star fountain pen. Now, this is the pen here. And I don't know if you actually remember, the pen was actually in a bit of a sorry state and it had lots of dents. You can see all the dents here. So, what I actually decided to do is, well, I've always actually been a big fan of the Namiki fountain pens, the Japanese lacquer work, etc., the Maki uh, fountain pens, and obviously because of the price of them, I can't afford one, or who knows, maybe one day I'm, I may get one. So what I thought I'd do is, uh, is actually try and experiment and actually do my own. Now, what we'll do here, let's show you the pen, what I've actually created. Let's open the this leather case here and there's the pen okay so let's take it out of the case now because the pen is a Lamy fountain pen now in all intents and purposes in my eyes because I'm actually a vintage fountain pen man this is what I would term as a new pen or a modern pen if you like so what I decided to do um, the effect that I wanted was a an antique and a distressed look so what I actually did it took me around about a month if you like to to do this particular pen it wasn't done with Hiroshi lacquer and all the traditional methods that the Japanese actually use um, all well this was actually created if you like with with car paints and the lacquer that I've actually put on the pen is what they term as a two-pack car lacquer. It's actually rock hard um, and it sets rock hard. If it's good enough for a car, I'm sure it's good enough for a pen. The beautiful thing about it is that it actually polishes up beautifully. I'm hoping you can actually catch um, the shininess and the, the glossiness of this particular pen. To the touch, it's like glass. It's as smooth as a baby's bottom. Um, the way I've actually done this particular pen, try and keep it nice and brief. Um, what I did, I applied a, a black paint on on top of the two-pack lacquer. Now, I know some of you people who know about lacquer will say, well, you're not supposed to do that. I said, well, I know that. And what I wanted it to do is actually have a, a chemical reaction, which it did. And what happened is the the black paint wrinkled and cracked, etc. And in effect, what it had is my minute little sort of mountains, if you like. Then once that had actually dried, uh, I applied a coat of lacquer. And then what I actually did is applied some gold powder on that particular, on the black paint. Once I applied the black powder, uh, sorry, the black paint, again, we sanded and we lacquered. And then what actually happened is that, let's keep it nice and still. And I'm hoping you can actually see that the gold powder has actually got these these sort of cracks if you like within within the gold powder so that's actually the effect that I actually wanted and it's as I say it's more of a sort of what I term as an antique sort of distressed kind of look and well to actually to be quite honest with you to look at the pen in real life it actually looks in my own opinion it actually looks great and then what we did we applied um, a bit of gold paint by hand to give this sort of crack look um, the only thing that actually went wrong with this particular process and again it was the first time I've done it so it's quite an experiment is that the the cracking on the paint on the barrel here had a little bit of a reaction and it actually sort of if you like it bled slightly as opposed to the the cap there you can see the cap that's actually how I wanted it a little bit more crisp um, and again as you can see there on the barrel it had this little bit of a reaction although it had this reaction um, it still looks beautiful in my opinion um, once we actually did that we applied more lacquer um, again some between in between the process somewhere what I actually did I applied uh, gold leaf to the to the end of the barrel there to the end of the cap there and also to the top of the cap there and then once the gold leaf had actually dried I actually sort of brushed it um, with a toothbrush and again it gave this sort of 
if you like, this distressed look, which is what I was actually looking for. Um, one thing you'll also notice, what I've actually done is replaced uh, the chrome clip with a black one uh, because I think it matches a lot better. Um, all in all, it's come out absolutely beautiful. As I say, to touch this particular pen, it's like holding a piece or, if you like, a glass pen. It's absolutely gorgeous and I'm, I'm hoping you can actually see um, the lacquer and the the beautiful sort of sheen that it's got there. Now let's just take the cap off there and show you the pen and the cap in sort of different angles. All in all I'm quite happy with the result. Um, a couple of things actually if you like went wrong with it. Um, as I said the bleed into the to the to the paint on the barrel but all in all the end result I'm more than happy with it and I'm well I'm more well I'm actually quite pleased with the pen to be quite honest with you. As I say, the beautiful thing about it, I don't know how well it'll actually show up on the video, but the the shininess and the glossiness of this pen and the smoothness is absolutely beautiful. It's it's absolutely glass-like to the touch. And I hope you can actually see that that it actually it's actually looks like as I said before, it looks like it's covered with glass. And again, it gives the pattern underneath a little bit of depth. Um, as I said, the pen actually took me about a month to do in between coats and drying, etc. Um, I actually lost count around about 12 coats of lacquer. But sort of afterwards, once I finished it, I sort of thought about what I actually did. And to be quite honest with you, I think it was more in the region of about 18, maybe even 20 coats of lacquer have actually been applied to this particular pen. As I say, looks absolutely lovely in my own opinion. Let's just show you a few little close-ups there. And because I've actually done this particular pen, I've got a couple more Lamy pens which um, I'm going to be trying different designs on it. Um, I'm more than happy the way this one's actually sort of come out if you like. Absolutely gorgeous. So, I just thought I'd like to show you this pen and show it well and share it with you and it'd be interesting to see what your opinion is what your thoughts are on this particular pen as I say it's a modern pen but the way I've actually done the design underneath I wanted as I said earlier I wanted this if you like this distressed and this antique look to the pen which I think I've actually achieved it as you can see it's all sort of crackled and it's um, it's all got this sort of this this sort of crazing effect on the pen and as I say the main thing if if you actually was here to touch this particular pen it's as smooth as glass to the touch there's there's no rippling or anything like that but as I say that actually took a lot of uh, sort of sanding and buffing etc and giving it coats of lacquer and the end result in my opinion absolutely beautiful pen so as i said your thoughts would be interesting your comments would be interesting i hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen as always as much as i like showing them to you um, as i say we've got another lame now and we're going to come up with maybe a different different design and who knows we may even start a, a production line <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen. Don't forget, I've got loads more videos on my YouTube channel. Go and have a look at them. Leave a comment. Don't be shy. But for now, I'll just say bye-bye now.